Hello, today I will be farming the new artifact set for Shao, Fischl and Albedo. I'll go into details of which artifacts that are worth upgrading and hopefully you can learn something new from this video. If not, maybe it's fun to just watch me get trash artifacts and trash upgrades over and over. I won't upgrade every artifact in this video and I also won't show you every artifact that I get because most of it is trash. But here for example I get a good crit rate attack elemental mastery. This could be good for Fischl if I get another crit rate roll here. I'm super happy. So let's see what I get. Oh! So now I'll upgrade this piece until level 20 and hope for crit rate or crit damage rolls. But actually there's no one roll I can make here that loses me damage because elemental mastery and attack are both very good for Fischl. Especially in an aggravate team. So here I got kind of unlucky. I would prefer more crit rate or crit damage rolls. Here of course I don't fully upgrade it because if I'm lucky I get times two. So I'm trying to save as much XP as possible. And of course the final roll is always times two. Either way this is a really good flower for my official. So that's a good start. Unfortunately I'm running this domain with too little energy recharge on my Yelan. So at the end of each wave I try to swap back to Yelan and get two extra E's in, which I did here. Here I got a good opportunity to get a good hat, your circlets, and a really good opportunity for goblets. I always upgrade my goblets if they only have one crit substat, hoping to get two. Unfortunately, this goblet has two wasted substats already. If you count energy recharge as wasted, defense is pretty wasted on electro characters. And here I'm super unlucky and I get another defense, so this goblet is pretty trash. The reason I keep rolling here is because if I'm really lucky, I can roll every roll into crit damage, and that actually happened to me twice. Um, but I get energy recharge, which is not totally wasted. It's a low roll. Honestly, I should just stop rolling here, but I'm just coping hard. I choose to save this feather because we don't know if we're gonna get HP scalers and this goblet could actually be good for Xiao, so I choose to save it as well. Shao usually scales well with both attack goblets and animal damage bonus goblets. And I want crit damage as much as possible for this new set because it gives so much free crit rate. Here, for some reason I choose to save this circlet and upgrade it. I think at this point I'm just hoping to get something nice for Albedo to quickly boost his damage because my other artifacts for Albedo are pretty trash. The other crit circlet that I got was really nice because like I said before, crit damage is favored when it comes to the new artifact sets. Here I'm just hoping to get another crit rate substat, but I didn't get any, so this circlet is just trash. Again here, two lost substats. I'm trying to roll the last into crit here and then just pray that I get only crit and defense upgrades. When I'm desperate for a character, usually I upgrade like this, which gave me actually a really good piece for my Wanderer and it gave me really good pieces for I'll hate them too. But this time I was not as lucky and this sounds as useless. I 
I think it's a good idea to try to keep as many of the artifacts as possible that you require in Fontaine because we don't really know what future characters are gonna look like nor how their kit will work. So sometimes saving that HP, HP goblet might actually be worth it. This feather is kind of useful. I can hope that I get a crit damage upgrade for it, so I'll try. Not really any wasted substats here. Gonna take the shitty circlet from before. Unfortunately, I get an HP roll, which makes it so that even if my character scales off of HP or attack, I have a wasted substat now. I think when it comes to artifact upgrading, it's more about how many substats you waste rather than how many substats you land in crits. Sometimes attack can be very valuable and sometimes energy recharge can be valuable too. I keep upgrading this feather here. I try to land as many rolls into crit rate as possible, but I just landed two really low rolls in crit rate. I would have normally stopped rolling here, but since it's a new artifact set and I want to upgrade my characters as soon as possible, I'm willing to keep going. But unfortunately, it didn't work out as I hoped it would. I think this is my current favorite team in Genshin. It's great for overworld, great for artifact farming, Good grouping, good single target damage, everything is just great. No shielding though, so sometimes if you're a noob, you get hit on Wanderer like I just did here. The substats and the main stat on all these artifacts are way too spread out. Even if I roll crit here, they are completely useless, so I'm just running again. When the two mechas spawn after beating this guy, I usually try to hug the one on the right because the left one usually comes over. However, she can be pretty inconsistent, but this time she followed. Now this sense is actually great for my official, who scales off of Elemental Mastery in an aggro team. No wasted substats. I didn't actually upgrade this while recording, but I will show you the finished artifact here. If I was lucky, I would get more crit damage rolls, but honestly, the attack rolls aren't too bad either, especially since she scales off of both. I get a good goblet here. I would prefer crit damage over crit rate for this artifact set, but I choose to upgrade it and, well, it's not that great. So I decided to throw it away. Like I said, Crit damage scales much better off of this new artifact set because it gives so much crit rate for free already. As you can see here, I'm hugging the guy on the right, but she's just permanently standing still, probably due to fire sound. This Dendro Goblet looks promising. I don't really have any good Dendro Goblets yet, so I decided to upgrade it. And I'm, of course, hoping for a crit rate upgrade here. I think what you should try to aim for is essentially 30 crit value or more if you want to finish farming for your character. I didn't fully upgrade this goblet, but if I do and I roll everything into crits, my maximum crit damage will be around 32%, which is pretty decent. However, that would mean that I would have to roll at least three times into crit damage, which I think is pretty unlikely, so I decide to just keep it there for now. My other goblets are already better. You're not really wasting any XP if you're using a level 4 artifact, so usually this is what I do. Here we only have one wasted substat, so I'm hoping to get a crit damage roll. Of course I don't. If I'm really lucky, I can keep getting crit rates. My current crit rate is at the highest roll possible, so it looks pretty good. Unfortunately, I rolled in defense but the highest crit rate that I can still get is pretty high if I roll four times into crit rate, which is very, very unlikely, but I still choose to upgrade this feather. 
to level 12 just to save because like I said before I'm pretty greedy here because these are all new artifacts and I want to get as good ones as soon as possible. This feather is useless. I have an extra clip here where I caught an artifact much later and I decide to upgrade it and I think I just found my piece for Xiao. Hoping not to roll anything into crit rate here. Everything else is good for me. With Xiao's own weapon, you're very likely to overcap on crit rate with the new artifact set. In other words, for this new artifact set, it might sometimes even be worth to upgrade an artifact that doesn't have crit rate as a substat, but only crit damage and attack and energy recharge. You can always see which upgrade you get in the background, which is kind of funny. Uh, fortunately, I got a crit damage upgrade here. My Shao will be super happy to have this. That's me rolling some artifacts, and thank you so much for watching. Let me know if you enjoyed this type of videos where I just have some chill music on and tell you about my worthless upgrades. <laughs>